hot, stop me, I'm a beatable, I'm a beatable, I'm a beatable. I'm a beatable. Yeah. Even start score. Every time they wanna clash, the wind is kicking through the door. I am a beatable. Chunks is running out of stock, and we're running out the clock. I fail once, never stop. I am a beatable. I am a beatable. I am a beatable, yeah. I am a beatable. I am a beatable, yeah. I am a beatable. I am a beatable, yeah. Welcome to Midweek Hoops right here on the British Basketball League YouTube channel. We're into week 27 of the championship, the penultimate round before the excitement of the playoffs. Tonight, the Cheshire Phoenix travel to the pavilions in Plymouth, knowing that their fate of finishing second in the league is in their hands. The Patriots are looking to avoid the season sweep against the Phoenix and finishing last in the league. Yes, to hear. Thank you very much. We've got Wednesday night hoops in the British Basketball League as the Plymouth City Patriots host the Cheshire Phoenix live from the Plymouth Pavilions. Very warm welcome to you at home. Joel Osborne alongside Graham Hiscock to talk you through this one. And Graham, these are two teams that are opposite ends of the league standings. But what kind of matchup are you expecting out there tonight? Yeah, Cheshire must win for them if they want to if they want to keep second spot in the middle of a, a really tough road trip Scotland on Sunday and now down in Plymouth today and as for Plymouth won their last two games very dangerous at home. well let's take a look at the starting five starting with the Plymouth City Patriots no changes to the five that defeated the Manchester Giants at the weekend LBC Dusha and Josh Hart in the backcourt TJ Atwood Jacob Wiley and Spencer Levi Here's a look at the starters for the Cheshire Phoenix tonight. And big news for them, Ben Thomas not in attendance for tonight's game as James Bryce takes charge of the team. Also, no Skylar White in the roster this evening due to illness as EJ Stevens comes into the five. He's alongside LaQuincy Rido, Macy O'Jack, Aaron Rye and Ethan Chagua. Well, Graham, time to take a look at ones to watch coming into tonight. And Cam Copeland, a uh, mid-season addition to Paul James's side, but has really brought that spark off the bench. Yeah, he's getting better and better as the season goes on. 13.6 rebounds, three assists, 28 minutes in his last outing against Manchester, which was a huge win. Watch out. He's around 6'6", good size. And at the other end of the court, all-star all -star LaQuincy Rideau. Now, he's been the guy that's really been keeping this Cheshire Phoenix team ticking all season long. And 26 points a game, nine rebounds, six and a half assists, 32 minutes in his last couple of games. He's just been awesome all season. He is the glue guy, the absolute MVP for this team. Well, it's almost game time at the Pavilions. We've got Plymouth City Patriots taking on the Cheshire Phoenix and tip off is coming up next.
Welcome back to the pavilions for Wednesday Night Hoops in the British Basketball League. Cheshire, they are closing in on that second place finish heading into the playoffs, but they've got a tough schedule on their hands in these last few games. Three of their next four games in the regular season are being away from home, and with the informed Caledonia Gladiators hot on their tails, this is a must-win game for Cheshire Phoenix tonight. Yeah, Cheshire Phoenix, if they take Plymouth City Patriots lightly, they will be in big trouble. Patriots had a massive win at Bristol uh, last weekend, followed it up again with a big win against Manchester. So they're beating the teams in and around them uh, and they know each other well. This is their fourth meeting. Uh, they've already, sorry, they've already played four times and Cheshire have won each time, but watch out tonight. Plymouth City Patriots in a nice run of form. As you say, yeah, they've uh, won their last two games in a row. Big win away at Bristol Flyers, followed that up with a home win against the Manchester Giants. And although their playoff hopes ended a few weeks ago, I'm sure coach Paul James will have one eye on which of these players he wants to keep in his roster coming into next season. Yeah, and it's all about minutes. It's about professional pride. They're not just going to want to roll over and they certainly not and I've just got that feeling that they are really up for this tonight. Joel and Cheshire better be ready. And with Cheshire Phoenix, you know, they've got James Bryce stepping in at that head coaching position tonight. What kind of impact do you think that could have on their performance here today? Yeah, well, hopefully he's going to hit the ground running. He's, as, as we were just talking off here, he's been, on the, he's been on the bench throughout the season. So he knows the plays, he knows the players. It's just a different voice, uh, maybe slightly different tactical now. Well, it's going to be Cheshire Phoenix who win the opening jump ball and they will get the first possession of this midweek game. Here's Rideau, driving right. He's got Dusha on him, backing down, looking for Maceo Jack, but ends up in the hands of Rye. Stevens open for three, can't get the triple to go, but there's an offensive rebound from Aaron Rye and he puts it up and in. Yeah, he's so good in, in all areas, leading scorer and rebounder for this team. And that wasn't easy. A lot of traffic, had to start, got the rebound on one side of the bucket, finished on the other. And Cheshire Phoenix, they, they do well to create second chance opportunities. And a lot of that has been down to their guard play. They've got really long guards out there. Oh, nice pass. And Wiley jams it in for the first field goal for Plymouth. Yeah, he's a very dangerous player as well. Likes to play above the rim, just like that play there. Here's another three for Cheshire Phoenix. And this time, is good for Ethan Chagua. That's interesting. Hit his first one against Caledonia Gladiators from the same spot. Didn't make another one throughout the game. Phoenix will be hoping he can really get hot tonight. Well, this is the third meeting between these two teams in uh, just over a month, in fact. And I, I've got the chance to call the last meeting between uh, these two teams right here at the uh, Plymouth Pavilions. And Cheshire really caught fire from behind the three-point line in that first quarter. And I imagine that's in the back of Coach Paul James's mind. Yeah, they've got to get out. They've got to run them off with the three-point shots. Don't let them get hot and get comfortable. That's good defense there from Chagua. Nice pass to LaQuincy Rizzo, and it's great transition defense in the end from TJ Atwood to knock it out of play. Yeah, the two stars going head to head there, and LaQuincy probably thought he had a little bit more of the time than he did, and then Atwood comes from the blind side, knocks it loose. Well, here is LaQuincy Rizzo being guarded by Dusha. Chagua, oh, nice pass into Aaron Wright. Easy finish for him in the end. Yeah, Chagua, a young player, but that was a veteran move there. He's made one three, but he saw Aaron Wright underneath. Gave up a good shot to get a great shot. Early five-point lead for the Knicks away from home. Atwood finds Joe Hart. He'll fire up for three off the back iron. Offensive rebound by the Patriots. Can't get the second chance opportunity to go. And here comes Rye the other way. Well, the officials just stopping play here because the shot clock's reading 13 seconds. So they will speak to the table, get that reset. I imagine they'll shave a couple of seconds off here. And the shot clock will read at 18 seconds. And Graham, of course, with, the, with these teams meeting three times in the last month, I imagine they're very familiar uh, with both of each other's tendencies out there. Yeah, and you can see that already that the matchups they, the matchups they're going to like, the matchups they don't want. Getting a hand out to Maceo Jack because you know he's going to let it fly, and they and they forced him to miss that one. That sort of stuff. The really small detail is going to make the difference. 
Well, Macy Jack had a huge game the last time these two teams met, and it's uh, put in in the end by TJ Atwood, who cuts it down to a three-point game. Yeah, mid-range, he loves anything from the mid-range. He just caught that, ripped it through, let it fly. Here's Rye looking to back down once again into a double team. Top to Rido. Takes the pass, but goes downhill all the way to the basket. And that is what LaQuincy Rido does best. Yeah, you've got to respect his three-point shot, but he's so tricky getting to the hoop. Atwood inside, kicks out to Hart. Thought about the three, pulls up for a mid-range two and drains it. Yeah, they run Joe off the three-point arc, but he's so clever, goes hard left, pulls up for a 15-footer. Three-point lead for Cheshire. Chagwar hands off to Wright. Screen comes from Chagwar. Ends up with him at the top of the three-point line. He thought about the three and got Wiley off his feet and ends up drawing the foul. Yeah, really smart play from Chagwar. He's playing a high level this evening, just where they need him. Cheshire Phoenix just gave Wiley a big shot fake while he came out of his defensive position and an obvious foul there. With Cheshire Phoenix being one of the best three-point shooting teams in the league, you have to close out that three-point jump shot as Chagwar gets the friendly roll around the basket. But, uh, of course, you know, them shooting the threes, it, it almost makes you overplay them from the three-point line. Oh, backdoor <laughs> jam! And Wiley throws it down. Oh, my goodness. That was unreal. We love the three-point shot. We love that even more, Joel, because that was outrageous. Way above the hoop for Wiley. And could that be the spark that Plymouth need to go on an early run here? Stevens driving baseline, reverse layup no good, but ends up drawing the foul. And he will go to the line to shoot two shots. I really like EJ Stevens, but you've got to love this. This is big to big. That is just sensational pass from Spencer to Wiley, Spencer Levy to Wiley. And that is just brilliant. He's almost, his head's almost behind the backboard and he ends up having to hurdle the defender who was uh, closest to him. Well, it's what he's been doing all season long, playing above the rim, and it's highlight plays like that that can really get this Plymouth crowd uh, into the game. It's an incredibly tough place to play um, down there at the pavilions. I mean, you hear it from players all the time. It's a, a different kind of environment. The lights are off in the crowd. Um, it can really feel like an intimidating atmosphere. Yeah, I played a number of times as well during my playing time down at, at Plymouth. Um, you know, back in the day, and it was a tough journey, and you knew they weren't going to give you a moment's rest once the game got going. Here's Wiley, this time from the elbow, overcooks it, and the long rebound falls to LaQuincy Rido. Right, thought about the three. Chagwar will shoot the three off the back iron this time. Plymouth can break. Here's Dusha. Screen comes from Spencer Levi. Ends up throwing it to Joe Hart. Joe Hart gets it to go. And a broken up play ends up in two points for Plymouth. And we spoke earlier, didn't we, Joe? LVC needs a massive game tonight. He got away with one there because his running mate, Joe Hart, was switched on and ready to catch the ball and knock it down. Here's Rido. He's got a mismatch with Spencer Levi on him. In and out dribble, all the way to the bucket, off the glass and in. He's got every move going, Quincy Rido. Here, creates space. This new understep that these players do now, where they just take a further step but don't elevate. He's, he's got everything. Absolute nightmare to guard. Well, it's been a hot start for both teams, shooting well over 60% from the field early on. As uh, It's going to be a jump ball called between Hart and Rideau. And the possession arrow will point towards the Cheshire Phoenix. But timeout called on the floor. We'll have more action after the break.
welcome back to Plymouth, where the Cheshire Phoenix have a four-point lead over the Plymouth City Patriots midway through the first quarter. If you've just joined us, no Ben Thomas uh, coaching the Phoenix tonight. James Bryce taking charge. Also, no Skylar White in the roster for them. Here's Dusha going to the basket. He's able to draw the foul. He got tripped there, just going to the basket, Graham. Yeah, he's LVC again, another big part of this team, real heart and soul. That's good, he's just cradling the ball, protecting it from, from La Quincy Rudu. And, and I'll tell you, that would be good for Plymouth City Patriots to get Rudu in foul trouble and get him off the floor. But that's easier said than done. Yeah, it certainly is. I mean, it will send LVC Dusha to the line. And of course, he is uh, one of the engines behind this Plymouth City Patriots team. It's his third season with the Patriots. And you'll often find that when he plays well for this team, the Plymouth City Patriots pick up wins. Yeah, and he's, he's a glue guy. He's an assist player. He's leading assists for this team. But he does so much more. He's just got to stay out of foul trouble himself and just keep the ball moving, keep the energy in the ball. Cut it down to a two-point game with four and a half minutes to go in the first. Chagua for three is short. Rebound with Atwood. Two-on-two two opportunity here. Wiley pulls it out. Atwood all the way to the basket. Easy as you like. The lane just opened up for him. Yeah, good decision by Plymouth City Patriots. Get to the bucket early before the defense is set. Nice, nice job by TJ Atwood. All tied up at 14 points apiece. Right, nowhere to go. Kicks out to Chagua. Here's Rizzo now, into double team. Nice pass inside to Ethan Jaguar, who puts it in for two. Yeah, I like the way Ethan Jaguar is playing under the hoop and away from the hoop as well. Missed his last couple of threes, so smart play, get, getting close to the hoop, dropping it over the top. Hart, top to Atwood. Atwood's got Rye on him. Atwood driving left, spins right though. Still with Atwood, shot clock winding down and he puts it in as the shot clock expires. Well, TJ just wouldn't give up on the play and in the end with that fadeaway, so tough, great core strength, knocks it down. Here's LaQuincy Rizzo, looking for Jack and a bit of miscommunication on the pass and LaQuincy Rizzo just ends up throwing it out of bounds. Yeah, that's tough. That's a tough, unforced error for Cheshire Phoenix. They've got to keep those, those turnovers down as our focus player, Cam Copeland, comes into the game, Joel. He comes into the game. So does Terrell Green for the Plymouth City Patriots. And he had a huge game in that win over the Bristol Flyers to start their two-game win streak. Oh, it's stolen by Rideau. Here's Maceo Jack. You are cleared for takeoff. And he throws it down with a one-handed flush. Not a good start by Green, just coming into the game. As, as you say, had a really good, some really good moments against Bristol. He needs to be solid when he comes into the game. Dusha finds Copeland. First touch of the uh, the ball. Ends up throwing out bounds, but last touch by the Cheshire Knicks. Yeah, Plymouth City Patriots playing a bit loose here. Copeland and Green have come in. They just need to calm down, just get their hands on the ball. They're two excellent offensive players. Well, they saw James Bryce. He's no stranger to coaching the, Plymouth, uh, the Cheshire Phoenix. He's done a number of games uh, in the absence of Ben Thomas. A couple of years ago when he had his child, he stepped in as head coach. So in familiar territory. Oh, nice three from Maceo Jack. Just rolled around the rim and got the drop. Yeah, it's in transition, so tough to guard. He just, he'll just elevate, and it's such a quick release. The threes be made before you even realize it. Five-point lead now for the visitors. Atwood, guarded by Wright. Atwood fakes it, kicks out to Copeland. Corner three ball, can't get it to go. And the rebound ends up with Maceo Jack. Wright, another three on the way, knocks it down. And back-to-back -back threes from the Cheshire Phoenix causes coach Paul James to call for time. Yeah, that's just so smart by Aaron Wright. All the defense is hustling back. He just pulls up, creates space, and knocks it down. And uh, just, just simple play, but they're going to their strengths. Terrell Green just not quick enough getting out once he realized Maceo Jack was going to knock it down. Other side, Jack this time with the pass ahead. And then Aaron Wright organizes his feet. And just nothing but that. 
And it's that semi-transition from Cheshire that makes them so dangerous. I mean, just when you feel like the fast break is slowing down, they can feed it to a, a trailing player or just pull up for three like that. And, you know, just like that, it's stretched out to an eight-point lead. Yeah, it's a game changer. And a lot, along with Surrey Scorchers, they take the most threes per game. Uh, and, and they're making high, high percentage as well, Joel. That is the problem, because when they get hot, they can blow games open really quickly. Uh, Ethan Jaguar leads the way so far with seven points uh, to his name. Maceo Jack and LaQuincy Rideau on four. Aaron Rye also has seven for the uh, Cheshire Phoenix. And, uh, you know, it's, it's his ability to create those mismatches out there on the court that makes him a dangerous threat for them. Yeah. Aaron Ryan, we're looking at Ethan Chargar again. He must be learning so much from the likes of Aaron Ryan and uh, Le Quincy Rideau. Of course, Aaron, he's only a couple of years out of, out of college at Dartmouth, but such a smart, uh, smart player. But he can get rebounds and he can finish here, finish in transition like we just saw, or he'll take you all the way to the bucket and finish in traffic as well. Under two minutes to play in the first quarter is Copeland. Screen comes from Green. Copeland with Jack on him now. Here's Atwood, puts it on the floor. Shot clock winding down, has to shoot. Puts it up in time, is short. Gets a second chance opportunity though, as Copeland grabs the offensive rebound. Wiley, fadeaway jumper, knocks it down. Yeah, that's a bailout shot because we said about LVC, he needs to take control of this group because it's one and one, one and one. If I can't get my shot, then I'll pass. They've got to be looking at passing within the flow of the offense. Here's Rye, top to Cam Holden into the game for the first time. Jaguar back to Holden, shot clock down to five. All the way to the basket, nice move. And Cam Holden finishes. And again, another impact player refused. The screen went the other side, got all the way to the basket with the right hand. Here's Green for his first three of the game and strings it from yeah. downtown. Had a couple of massive game uh, threes against Bristol in that big victory and they needed it there. Maceo Jack at the other end responds with a three of his own. It's raining threes in Plymouth. Yeah, it's just awesome to watch, Joel. And, and Maceo Jack, no jump when he shoots. It's just a set shot and a really hard wrist snap and it's gone. Another three ball on the way. This time no good for Copeland. Rebounded by Kristen. Kristen coast to coast, can't get the finish. Jaguar with the offensive rebound. And he is fouled with 7.1 to go on the game clock. Yeah, Cheshire Phoenix just crashing the offensive balls. Jaguar causing all sorts of problems. And then he attacks the basket. TJ Atwood there, not able to cope with the pressure that Chaguar was uh, putting on them. Uh, Ethan Chaguar will go to the line to shoot two. He's a 62% 60, uh, free throw shooter in the British Basketball League this season. No mistakes on the first. Second one, no good. There's still five seconds to go here in the first quarter. Atwood goes past Rye, pulls up for three, drains the three, and TJ Atwood on the buzzer knocks it down. The fans go nuts at the Plymouth uh, Pavilions, and uh, we will have a break. We'll see you in a couple of moments' time.
Welcome back to Plymouth for Midweek Hoops in the British Basketball League. Coach Paul James chasing his 50th home win for Plymouth City Patriots, if they can pick up a win here this evening. Second quarter action is underway. Ry almost loses control of it, but ends up putting it up no good. Long rebound is chased down by Cam Copeland. Yeah, Copeland needs to do more of that. Hasn't started the his minutes great on the offensive end. Get after some rebounds, play some tough D. Copeland drives left, finds Wiley inside. Here's Green again for three. Can't get it to go this time. Rebounded by EJ Stevens. Almost knocked loose by Atwood. Ends up in the hands of Rye. Kristen for three in the corner, knocks it down. Yeah, Cam Christian again, dangerous play. You've got to know where these guys are. It's not just about LaQuincy, Rudo and Aaron Wright, that's for sure. And, if, if, and even with Skylar White out, they were a huge threat from behind the arc. Copeland goes to the basket, looking for a foul, nothing given by the officials. Here's Wright. Kristen again for three. It's going to be a foul called away from the ball. And it's going to be called against Terrell Green. Just battling through that screen. It's uh, very physical out there right now. And it will stay with the Cheshire Phoenix. Holden to inbound. Finds Kristen. Hands off to right. Good ball movement here from Cheshire. Screen comes from Ulf. Oh, it's stolen away by the Patriots. Dangakodo. All the way to the bucket. The lefty layup is good, turning defense into offense. Yeah, Danakoda had really nice minutes against the Flyers, uh, hitting some big threes in that time. He just kept going. They didn't stop him all the way to the hoop. Rye skip pass. Kristen again for three. This time no good. Another rebound falls to Copeland. Finds Wiley leaking out in transition. It's going to be a foul called against uh, Cam Holden. And... That will send Patriots back to the line to shoot two. Much better by Copeland. Quick rebound, quick outlet, and Wiley so tough to, to guard when he's attacking the basket. And it's not too often you see a big man leaking out in transition like that, but Wiley, such a versatile player, can play multiple positions for Paul James's side. Yeah, and he knows that Copeland's on the floor. Copeland's getting into his minutes now. He's got a defensive rebound, and he's got guard skills as well, Copeland, so he gets his head up. If you're running in the right lane, in space, uh, Copeland will find you. Well, Wiley comes up short on the first free throw. He had 18 points and nine rebounds in the last meeting between these two teams a couple of weeks ago. He knocks down the second free throw to chip away at that Cheshire Phoenix lead. Over eight minutes to go in the first half. Here's Holden, top to Kristen. Finds EJ Stevens. Stevens goes left, looking for LaQuincy Rizzo going back door, and it's cut out by Joe Hart. Oh, it's good, uh, good, uh, bright idea from the Plymouth City Patriots to find Spencer Levi leaking out, but uh, great defense from, from Cheshire Phoenix in the end. Yeah, again, a Pass from big to big. Last time it was Levi for the, Levi for the alley oop with Wiley. This time it was the reverse. But uh, Phoenix just doing enough. Dangakodo to inbound to Levi. Now here's Atwood. Atwood pull up three pointer. He's short. Cheshire Phoenix can break here. Stevens extra pass. Kristen for three. Ball goes in and out. And another rebound falls to T.J. Atwood. Wiley, top to Atwood, hands off with Dangakodo. Dangakodo takes the screen, lobs it up. Wiley blows the alley-oop dunk, and here come Cheshire the other way. Oh, it's stolen by Joe Hart. And here's Wiley again, leaking out in transition. This time is good, as he rolls it in for two. Yeah, fortunate there. That alley-oop was a little bit too high for Wiley, but there was a quick turnover. He's able to get a finish there with the right hand. Well, Plymouth City Patriots dropping back to a zone defense here. Let's see how Cheshire combat the, uh, the switch in defense. 
Holden at the elbow, splashes it. Yeah, a little bit passive there in the zone. You've still got to be aggressive and don't let these players just have an open uh, jump shot from the free throw line. Here's Dangakodo. Screen comes from Wiley. Joe Hart now in the corner, driving middle. Kick out to Dangakodo. Open three, rattles around and gets the drop. Yeah, he's playing some key minutes in this stretch of games where they're having success. Nice three-pointer on the move and off the catch. EJ Stevens corner three ball. He can't get it to go. And it's last touched by the Plymouth City Patriots. Again, it's a quick three. EJ Stevens, of course, with that big three against Caledonia Gladiators at the end of overtime to keep them tied on the points difference between the Scottish neighbours and uh, there was a quick release there from the corner, not, not quite able to get knock it down. Here's Chagua. Guided by Levi. Top to Stevens now, back to Chagua. Going one-on-one -on -one with Spencer Levi. Shot clock winding down here, they have to shoot. And Stevens airballs the three. Here come Plymouth the other way, trailing by three. Make that one as Wiley knocks down the mid-range two. Yeah, Wiley and Plymouth City Patriots, I feel, play better in transition or semi-transition. Don't set too much stuff up. Just knock some shots down before the defense is set. Well, they trailed by as many as nine points earlier on in the game, the Plymouth City Patriots. Here's Chaguar at the other end. Can't get it to go. And now Plymouth City Patriots will have the chance to take their first lead of the game here. Yeah, Chaguar's three-point shooting getting a bit flat there. There's going to be a foul called as Wiley drives to the basket. Just the second team foul on the Cheshire Phoenix. Again, good job, I think, by Wiley. Quick crossover. He's bigger than LaQuincy Rideau. Just try and put some pressure on Rideau, get him in foul trouble. Just over five minutes to play in the second quarter. Wiley swings to Copeland. Now Danga Kodo. Joe Hart coming off the screen, ends up with Wiley, Wiley backing down, the shot clock's winding down here, Joe Hart has to shoot, drains it, and Plymouth City Patriots their first lead of the game. Yeah, smart play by Plymouth, mate, extra pass, Danakodo, and Joe Hart wide open, knocks it down, nothing but net. 8 nothing. Plymouth City Patriots run. Aaron Rye's three is no good. Another offensive rebound for the Cheshire Phoenix as LaQuincy Rideau draws the foul. And uh, he will go to the line to shoot two free throws after the timeout here. We'll have more action coming up after the break. Welcome back to Wednesday Night Hoops in the British Basketball League. Packed house down in Plymouth. 
as the Patriots and the Phoenix are meeting for the third time in just over a month. And Plymouth, after trading by as many as nine points in the first quarter, have a two-point lead midway through the second. And of course, Graham, they are chasing down their third straight win. They've been playing some great basketball in recent weeks. It's almost as if, you know, it's just too little, too late, really, for their playoff hopes, though. Yeah, they've got, got things together, brought in Copeland, but everyone else has really stepped up and playing at a high level. And Cheshire Phoenix in the midst of a really tough road trip. Caledonia on Sunday and here in Plymouth on Wednesday. Nice pass into Spencer Levi, fakes it once, twice, puts it up, can't get the flow to the go. And LaQuincy Rido grabs his fourth rebound of the game. Does well to draw the foul at the other end. And, and that's one thing he did really well in the, in the win over um, Surrey Scorchers uh, last weekend. I mean, they trailed by as many as 16 points. And in the fourth quarter, LaQuincy Rido excellently well to, to get trips to the foul line and knock them down down the stretch and earlier in the season that wasn't necessarily his go-to teams would often foul the Quincy Rizzo in late game situations and force him to shoot the free throws now he seems to have really increased his shooting numbers from both the three-point line and the foul line yeah he's got great early height on his shot you just saw it there perfect rotation but the great players adjust and he's doing it you know during the season he's really I was touched short but Still getting the shooter's roll, hitting big threes as well against Caledonia and, and, and Surrey. And he's putting up double doubles with points and rebounds and points and assists in back to back games last weekend. Well, that free throw from Rideau gives Cheshire a one point lead once again. Under four minutes to go in the half. Joe Hart finds Dangakodo. He's got Rideau on it. Oh, good hands by Rideau. And that's why he leads the league in steals. Aaron Rye, corner three ball in transition, knocks it down. Yeah, and again, points off turnovers, they're just lethal. And the Quincy Rido, you just get anywhere near him. If you're not paying attention, he will knock the ball loose. And that's a nice pass into the corner. Penetrate, suck all the defense in towards you. And Aaron Rye knows where he needs to be. And we were talking about this off air as well, but with LaQuincy Rizzo, yeah, he leads the league in steals right now, but it's his defensive presence as well. It's, you know, when, when offensive players know that he's, they've got Rizzo guarding him, it's the amount of decisions that he can change as well that makes him such an impactful player on a defensive end. Yeah, and it's the deflections. Coaches love the deflections category, or just diving on a loose ball, or or whatever, or faking, or going, stunting a, a, as if you're going to go and steal and make the player pick the ball up. He's got all those tricks, and then he's making the, the offense pass away from him, maybe where they don't want to go, then somebody else can make a steal. So even on the defensive end, he's making his teammates better. Well, Cheshire have done well to withstand the Plymouth City Patriots run here. It was an 8-0 run for the Pats before the, uh, the media timeout, and then coming out of the break, they've responded well, turning defense into offense, and that is what Cheshire Phoenix basketball is all about this season. It's their DNA. It's, you know, getting those uh, open triples out in transition and knocking them down. Yeah, when well, you've got someone like Rudo, 7-4, four, 4 and two, 2 steals, he's just under three per game, uh, which is just, just amazing. But, he, you know, he's a top assist man as well in the league. So uh, just to, to have Wright and LaQuincy Rudo on the team is fabulous. Copeland's three is no good. Rebound ends up with Aaron Wright. That's his third rebound of the game. Nice pass into Jaguar off the glass for two. Yeah, and Aaron Ryken knows how to share the ball as well. So he draws the defense in and then just gives it to Ethan for a, a short alley-oop. Well, it's now an 8-0 run for Cheshire after Plymouth went on an 8-0 run earlier in the second quarter. The ball last touched by the Cheshire Phoenix, say the referees, and they'll inbound the ball to Plymouth from the baseline. Yeah, but Spencer Levi hasn't quite got the length of body of a Chaguar, so he's catching that ball in traffic. He's so hard-working, third-best rebounder in the league, uh, and he's, he's right place, right time sort of guy, as Evan Walsh described him in that Bristol Flyers game. I really like that, uh, that sort of correlation. Here's Wiley, swings the ball. Dangakodo driving inside, his shot's way off the mark. Another steal from LaQuincy Rizzo, just knocks it loose for his third of the game. And count it and a foul. And Ethan Chagwar at the other end will girdle the line for an and one opportunity. Yeah, and there's 
Le Quincy Rudeau's game encapsulated in two moves. Steal the ball, he leads the league in steals. Head up, who can I find? Ethan Chargua, get him in his sweet spot, right under the bucket, he leads the league in assists as well. And Chargua, and he, these players just get better and better as they play with players like Le Quincy Rudeau. Oh, what a pass that was to uh, recycle the play from Rideau. And uh, here's Aaron Rye now. Shot clock's down to six, though. Rideau has to go to work here, gets it into Chagua. Two seconds on the shot clock, and the uh, shot clock will expire. I don't think they realised just how many seconds were left after the uh, offensive rebound there. Yeah, that was a mental mistake by Chagua, who's done so many good things tonight, but once he turned his back on the shot clock and went into a, a final move, he was in big trouble. But that save was just... It was, it was incredible, fabulous. wasn't it? That is a highlight play in itself, and that's why they lead this league in, in offensive rebounds. Hustling for loose balls, they're still in that race for a second-place finish, and you can see what it means to him out there. Atwood spins and lays it up in off the glass. Yeah, they've got to make quicker moves, get the passes moving, get the decisions quicker. Aaron Rye, lane just opened up for him, and good defence in the end by Plymouth. Atwood, Copeland for three, off the back iron, no good. And another rebound falls to Chagua. Rideau kicks it out, three-pointer on the way, all goes in and out. And Atwood with another rebound for the Patriots. Viney does well to draw the foul in transition, and he'll let himself a trip to the line to shoot two. Yeah, nice pass by Joe Hart. Quick transition again. The defense is scrambling. That's when Wiley's at his best. He's not having to think too much. Just get the ball, get to the bucket. Well, Jacob Wiley will earn himself a trip to the free throw line. Six, seven, forward out of Marion College in the NAIA. I don't see too many players in the British Basketball League from the NIA, uh, NAIA level. I think Tevin Ollison from Bristol Fly has made that step up to Div 1 from NAIA during his collegiate career. But certainly been a great pickup for coach Paul James' side. Yeah, I enjoy, I enjoy watching Wiley. And when he's in the flow, he's got that jump shot from, a rep, from around 15-foot free throw line or just outside the key. But of course, we love it when he goes upstairs and can connect with some of these big dunks. It's coming in off a big game in that win over Manchester. 15 points, eight rebounds for him in that one. And he manages to cut it down to a five-point game here against the Cheshire Phoenix. Just over a minute and a half to go in this first half. Cheshire on the high side. Right, Euro step is blocked by Copeland, but a foul is called. Again, Aaron Wright, Mr. Smart, he just comes in, he's going to Euro step, bring the ball across, protects, tries to go with a reverse layup with the right hand, just making it as difficult as possible for the defence to, to make a good play. And of course, the last time he went to the basket, he made a more traditional lap and got blocked, so he's just thinking all the time. And it's the way he just slows the game down, Aaron Rye. I mean, we haven't seen a player in the British Basketball League for a long time that can really slow the game down like that and use their body so efficiently on the court. Yeah, he really is uh, just playing playing the game like high-speed chess, which is why I really like that promo for the All-Star game when he was sitting there meditating <laughs> yeah. uh, and thinking about the game, because that's how he does it. But he is strong, he can get upstairs when he needs to, and he, there's not just one player like him on this team. Of course, the Quincy Rido has got all the tricks that you need as well. well he stretches it out to a seven-point lead now for Cheshire. Under a minute and a half to go in the second quarter. Atwood hands off to Dusha. Now Joe Hart at the elbow, nowhere to go. Oh, it's a miscommunication on the pass, and it's going to be an over and back. And Cheshire Phoenix will uh, retain possession here. Yeah, I think Plymouth City Patriots are at that point now where they can't make unforced errors like that. Uh, you know, ideally, let's not pass backwards uh, unless you're throwing it all the way into the post and you want to throw it back out. That's, that's just a dangerous play, uh, especially with a miscommunication. Stevens fakes the three, takes the three, makes the three. Yeah, EJ Stevens, I love watching him play. Great athlete, and he can knock the three down in a hurry as well. Nice sidestep there to evade the defense. 
just like that, the lead's out to 10. Here's Joe Hart going the other way, kicks it out to Dangakodo. Eurostep, here's Dusha now for three. Paul almost got the drop and rebound secured by Cheshire. Oh, it's another turnover. It's going to be an over and back here, and it's just the, almost the same turnover we saw a couple of possessions ago, but from Plymouth. Yeah, I mean, that's really unfortunate because Cam Holden, their great play, really pushed the ball up the floor, got to the free throw line, and then stopped. Um, maybe just hang on to it. Maybe a guard can take it off you because passing it back to the halfway line, uh, as we've just found, found with Joe Hart, can be a problem. Well, LBC Dusha is going to get us back underway from the sideline. Under 30 seconds to go in this second quarter. Shot clock down to 10. Watch for LBC to be an option, maybe here. Here he comes off the screen. Bangakodo almost loses control of it, ends up on the deck. Does well to find Atwood, though, and Atwood drains the three. As I said, watch out for Elvisi to be the option, but the ball fell to TJ Atwood. Cool and calm, knocks it down. A little bit fortunate, but hey, fortune favours the brave. Final possession of the first half. Aaron Rice spins and lays it up and in as the buzzer expires. And the Cheshire Phoenix will go into the locker room with a double-digit lead over the Plymouth City Patriots at half-time. Well, don't go anywhere because we've got half-time reaction coming up from Graham Hiscott after the break. Welcome back to Wednesday Night Hoops in the British Basketball League, where the Cheshire Phoenix lead the Plymouth City Patriots at the halftime break. I'm joined by Graham Hiscott. Graham, what have you made of those first 20 minutes? Well, it's been a really good game, uh, as we thought it would be. Plymouth City Patriots have had to come back. Uh, they've come back once from a, a deficit. They're going to have to do it again. Um, have they got the the player power, have they got the depth to be able to compete with this Cheshire Phoenix team? Phoenix have been causing them some problems on the offensive glass, we'll get into that as well. Uh, but yeah, Cheshire Phoenix in charge, but 
Patriots still very dangerous. Well, let's take a look at those numbers at the half, and you look at the, look down the, the the spread there, Graham. What is it that really stands out for you? Well, three point field goal, seven of eighteen, Cheshire. You know they're, they're taking over thirty a game, so it's eighteen tonight. Five of fourteen, the Patriots. Only seventeen to sixteen. There's only one difference in rebounds, but the Cheshire Phoenix have got a lot more offensive rebounds. Uh, five offensive rebounds, twelve defensively and, and it's what they're doing with those offensive rebounds as well especially that big save when they were able to get an extra possession it's that sort of attitude that sets them apart let's take a look at the story from the first half and it's quite evenly matched throughout the sort of first five minutes or so Cheshire they managed to build up a lead and then um, for every run that they had the Plymouth City Patriots had a response for them they did and again the inside players making a nice pass inside Shargot hit his first three hasn't hit one since He's got it, but he has uh, been smart and gone inside and played nice. And there's that highlight play. And I think Maceo Jack was right under that. He just got posterized. They need more of that as Maceo Jack got his own back with a, with a dunk of their own. And it was really nip and tuck. Cheshire pushing ahead and then Plymouth responding. And that's where Cheshire have done really well in this game so far. Fast break points. I mean, you see there Aaron Rye knocking down that three-pointer in transition. Yeah, and it's not just fast break points in the, in the key, it's doing it from behind the arc. And uh, 18 points, fast break, uh, as that would fortunately knocks down a shot right at the end of the quarter, just to keep Plymouth City Patriots in touch. And if you coach Paul James, what is it you're saying to the team at half time? You're trailing by nine, but still very much all still to play for. Keep the ball moving. Don't just go like that. Just keep going. Don't catch the ball and then size your defender up. Catch the ball, make a decision, keep the ball moving. Great stuff. And uh, as you say, um, the second half action is uh, very shortly about to get back underway. Wiley knocking down the uh, the three. But Aaron Rye leading the way for this Cheshire Phoenix team at the half. He has 14 points and he's really done the damage for, for, for Cheshire so far. Yeah, and it's three rebounds, three assists. He, he just fills the whole stat sheet up, as does LaQuincy Rido. Uh, they're really tough to uh, to try and keep control of. Plymouth City Page has got it all to do. Well, we'll have second half action coming up for you very shortly indeed. But first, it's time to take a look back at the weekend's action as the Cheshire Phoenix travel to the Caledonia Gladiators for an overtime thriller. Going end to end here, Ethan Shagwa, what fatigue. Green now to the right hand. Kicked out here, LaQuincy Rideau for three. Picking up where he left off last night, kaboom. Whelan moves it across. The three ball is good again, and it's a tie ball game. Kyle Johnson to the reverse, then assist for Quade Green. Stevens, the quick hands, Rideau even quicker, now pushing up the floor, Rideau all alone lays it in for two and that's great defense from Cheshire to close the gap. David Olf makes that happen. Quade Green spinning Beautiful. to the right hand away from Aaron Rye. Clock is winding down, has to shoot here. Stevens on the buzzer, on the money. Count Christian pushing forward now, Maceo Jack. Finger rolls it in, evading the defense. Green. As Quade Green goes to work again. Yeah, and like I said, gets back to his favorite spot. Rideau, what a tough finish that is for Rideau. Can the Gladiators fight back? Oh, on his skates there, EJ Stevens, Mike Bothwell, and the air war play. The handoff. Quade Green, the response from Q Money. Quade Green trying to find room. Lucas Beliza, he's got the shot off for three. He's made it. He's made the shot. Lucas Beliza from downtown. <laughs> we are going to overtime, baby. Here's Quade Green pushing Fraser Malcolm off the dribble. Fraser Malcolm lays it in for two. Here, Aaron Rye, huge three coming in. Aaron Rye with a huge triple for the Cheshire Phoenix. Fraser Malcolm pulling the trigger. Malcolm answering, he's been an X-factor. Caledonia will take the win nonetheless. 
but can they get the head to head? And the three is good! Oh my goodness! What an incredible shot there from EJ Stevens! And Caledonia fans in the arena will be absolutely elated nonetheless. Rizzo looking to go one on one here. Pulls up for three. Big three for La Quincy Rizzo. Absolute dog. Like we talked about, not the biggest three point shooter. Nawab returning the corner. Bradley in front of him. Bradley caught his arms, but Nawab is too strong. Goes through it for two. And that was the play run out of timeout to try to get Nawab into his right hand. And we've seen that. Boom, strength from him, good finish. Quade Green spinning Beautiful. to the right hand away from Aaron Rye. Beautiful offense, really lovely. Oh, oh nice what a move. move there. CJ Atwood going inside the paint. And just reminding everybody who the better team is at the moment. Turns the ball over into the hands of Shagwa, pushing forward. Going end to end here, Ethan Shagwa! What fatigue! Wow. You're right, what fatigue. Nobody picks him up, he just goes coast to coast. Front time on the three, Lewis with the rebound, Walsh underneath. Oh, what a follow from William Lee to jam it home. We've seen that from Lee before, super athletic game. Can the Gladiators fight back? Oh, on his skates there, EJ Stevens, Mike Bothwell, and the end one play. EJ Stevens, sit down, Bothwell's taking you for a ride. Good job by Bothwell here. Oh, thrown away there, and Lewis will run it back. Lewis is blocked by Green, oh! what a chase back. Give me that! And there are bodies all over the place. Deep range three off balance, and that does nothing but net. Don't hang your head, Kimmel McKenzie. There's nothing you can do about that. Oh, just thrown straight to Phillips. Oh, oh behind the back pass. Oh, my, what a play <laughs> from the London line. Sandy punches it home.
Welcome back to Wednesday Night Hoops in the British Basketball League, live on YouTube, TikTok and Twitch. And tonight's game marks the start of a huge slate of games coming up for you this weekend. Uh, of course, Newcastle tomorrow night hosting the Bristol Flyers for a 7.45pm tip-off. Big doubleheader for you on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And a reminder, you can watch every game this season on the British Basketball League YouTube channel. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe to not miss a minute of the action. Also, one other game going on this evening. The London Lions women are in action in their Euro Cup final, the second game. They have to win by seven or more to force overtime. And currently, right now, with seconds to go in the third quarter, they lead by seven. So that should be a tight stretch, a tight finish to that game down at the cover box. Yeah, that is just unbelievable. What an achievement by that so London Lions women's team. They've put together a fantastic roster and they, uh, with, a, with a wonderful coach as well, with uh, Stella Calcidu, and uh, they're right on the brink of creating basketball history uh, for the British team. Well, we will keep you up to date with that one as that result comes through. But we are set for second half action here from the Plymouth Pavilions. Here's Joe Hart. Nowhere to go, finds Wiley in the end. Here's Dusha now, shot clock down to six. Dusha driving inside, feeds it off to Spencer Levi and he just steps on the baseline out of bounds. Just a little bit out of sync there again, Plymouth just catching the ball, holding on to it, trying to force things. Uh, LVC trying to pass the ball off to Spencer Levi and he, he uh, committed a travel and uh, it's, a, it's a turnover to start the quarter. Well, the Quincy Riddow will inbound to get us back underway. Here's Maceo Jack. Now back with the Quincy Rizzo. Plymouth sitting in this zone defense here. Stevens driving baseline, kicks it out to Jack. Jack driving middle this time. They've left Aaron Rye wide open for three. And he makes them pay from downtown. Yeah, that was simple penetration and kick. Tried one side, went the other. Aaron Rye knew that ball was good, that shot was good. Halfway to the hoop. Perfect start for Cheshire Phoenix to this third quarter. Here's Wiley now, guarded by Maceo Jack. All the way to the hole. A couple, uh, couple of bounces around the rim and got the drop. That is so tough. Good effort by Maceo Jack, but even better job by Wiley. Three-pointer on the way for Jack is uh, no good. And it will go back to the Plymouth City Patriots. Yeah, they've got to play really good defence here. Plymouth City Patriots, to, just to slow the likes of Maceo Jack down. Of course, in the last meeting of these two teams, he went off for 28 points, so he can really get going in a hurry. They've got to keep these players neutralised. Wiley does well to draw the foul on Jack, and that'll be the first team foul against the Cheshire Phoenix. Again, Wiley putting the ball on the floor. He got LaQuincy Rudo in trouble in the first half, and this time he gets a foul called on him. Well, foul called on the player defending him uh, this time, Maceo Jack. Atwood. Joe Hart swings to Dusha. Rito ends up on the deck here. Joe Hart, corner three ball. The shot clock winding down. And Jack comes up with the rebound. Rye, coast to coast, can't get the finish. Rebounded by Wiley this time. Eight minutes to go in the third as Rideau runs over Spencer Levi, who was uh, setting the screen. And I think that just bored over from frustrations from the last play. I mean, you saw uh, LaQuincy Rideau on the floor in that last play, Graham. Yeah, that's, uh, he's got to be careful there. He's really led with his shoulder with some force as well. Uh, Spencer Levi, good screen. He's very fundamentally sound. Spencer Levi and... Uh, you know, and that's one way of slowing LaQuincy Rudo down. Get a few fouls chalked up against him. He has to leave the game. Well, frustrations flaring up for LaQuincy Rudo as he heads to the bench. Seven points, five rebounds, five assists so far tonight for him. And it's going to be LVC Dusha to get us back on the way from the sideline. Ball into Wiley, here's Hart now. Atwood calling for it, ends up with him. Finds Dusha, shot clock down to eight. 
Joe Hart drives middle, spins, kicks it out, open three for Elvisi Dusha. He can't get it to go as the shot clock expires. Fry finds Jack. Jack for three, rips it from downtown. That's just sensational play. Great pass from Rye, but Maceo Jack doesn't need to be completely squared up. He just catches and lets it fly. Well, the threes keep coming for the Cheshire Phoenix. As you say, one of the best three-point shooting teams in the league this season as uh, Atwood blows the dunk. Stevens to the basket. Can't get the finish, but will get the foul. And he'll head to the line to shoot too. Yeah, second best outcome if you're not going to make it get a foul on Wiley and get to the free throw line uh, just unfortunate for Atwood he missed the dunk but again Cheshire Phoenix running hard push the ball ahead make opportunities down the other end well, we'll send EJ Stevens to the line and of course he hit that huge three in the uh, overtime loss to Caledonia to completely tie the head-to-head -head between them and Caledonia so of course that then comes down to overall points difference this season which Cheshire do currently lead quite considerably so if it does end up tied between Cheshire and Caledonia in second place at the end of the season Cheshire Phoenix would leapfrog the gladiators in that situation yeah it was incredible Gareth Murray's face after that shot went down with about a tenth of a second to go was was a picture I just felt for him uh, watching the game but that's basketball you just play and he knows it being a great shooter himself you just got to play right to the last second Here's Wiley, backing down, Holden comes over and commits the foul. And of course, you, you mentioned the you know the head-to-head -head being tied. That head-to-head -head could be massive because both Caledonia and Cheshire have been playing incredible basketball uh, with only a few games to go now for the end of the regular season. Yeah, you've just got to look ahead to their schedule. I think Cheshire Phoenix is tougher schedule, so that's why this game is so important for them to take care of business here, which they are doing at the moment. Well, three of their final four games are away from home. And they're doing it without Skylar White as well tonight. Nice pass into Chagwar, who gets it to go off the glass. Yeah, he's just working to play. He's working at playing off the ball, just ghosting in behind the defense. He knows that Aaron Rye will find him if he's open. Well, it was knocked loose by Chagwar, and it's last touched by the Patriots. So, great effort on the defensive end for Cheshire. They'll get the ball back here. Yeah, well, that's really a sudden surge at the ball there, and it caught DJ Atwood by surprise, Joel. Well, Aaron Rye gets it in, bound, and we are back underway. Holden, all the way to the basket. Thought he was going to jam it and just laid it up in the end. That's worrying sign, though, because... Plymouth City Patriots have just let Christian go all the way to the bucket. Was it Cam Holden? Excuse me. And there was, there was no defense played whatsoever there. So they've got to sort it out very quickly. Well, momentum well and truly with Cheshire right now. 9 0 run. They managed to force another turnover. Here's Holden. Skip pass. Stevens puts it on the floor at the elbow. Finds Chagua. Chagua spins into a double team. Uh, uh, Maceo Jack again for three, knocks it down. Yeah, that is a thing of beauty. But again, Chagua showing his, he's getting much more experience now. Kicks it out of the double team. Maceo Jack does the rest from three. Just continues to add to those points off of turnovers. Here's Terrell Green at the other end, looking to respond. Can't get it to go. And the scoring drought for Plymouth continues. Aaron Rye slips on the deck. Able to get it to Chagwar, though. Aaron Rye back to his feet. Thought about the three. Skip pass to Jack. Another three ball on the way. Why not? And Maceo Jack's on fire. Yeah, he's just got that same release. Just hardly, hardly jumps off the floor, but so smart from Aaron Rye, finding the player that had just made the three-pointer in the previous possession. Well, it is now a 15-0 run for the Cheshire Phoenix. They built up a big lead here, and that man there, Maceo Jack, has put in a captain's performance so far. Yeah, he, what, what a super player he is. He's like the third of the three amigos, but any of them can take over a game at any point. 
Here's Plymouth looking to stop the drought. Dusha's three can't get it to go. Oh, nice uh, second chance effort from uh, Green, and he puts it in for two. They just need stuff like that, just hustle plays, offensive rebounds. They desperately need a stop now before this game gets completely away from them. Rye floats it up, floats it in and count it. He'll yeah. go to the line for a bonus. Yeah, again, that's the, the other side of his offense. You, you can see he can make threes face in the basket, share the basketball. He uh, just goes inside too strong. Timeout called on the floor. We'll have more action after the break. Welcome back to Midweek Hoops in the British Basketball League in a must-win game for the Cheshire Phoenix if they want to keep hold of that second-place uh, second spot in the league table at the end of the season. And a 15-0 third-quarter run capped off by that Aaron Wright three-point play has uh, put Cheshire well and truly in the driving seat right now. Here's Copeland. Pulls up. It's a deep two. Can't get it to go. And the rebound secured by Cheshire. Yes, another contested jump shot, though. Oh, nice pass, extra pass in the corner. And EJ Stevens for three drains it. Yeah, long contested two for Copeland. And then Cheshire Phoenix come out in transition, find a wide open three for Ethan. Well, they've outscored the Plymouth City Patriots 23 points to four so far. And it could be more here. Stolen away, and Kristen jams it in with two hands. Yeah, it's all one-way traffic now. Really worrying signs for Plymouth City Patriots, who've got London Lions coming here in a couple of days as well. They've got to change things really quick. Well, Terrell Green responds with a triple. And a timeout's been called on the floor by, uh, by James Bryce, who, of course, is filling in for Ben Thomas uh, this evening and just putting a stop to any kind of uh, momentum that Plymouth could get out of that three-pointer. I think that's a really smart coaching play because things are all going west here for Plymouth City Patriots. Christian with that with that throwdown off the quick pass ahead again on the good defense, and then you know Green as soon as he's wide, as soon as he's open. An open shot for Green is not an open shot for some others, and because of his size, he can just get the shot away, which is exactly what he did there. And he's got that ability as well to really catch fire from downtown. You know, all it takes is for him to see one of those threes go through the net, and it could start, uh, spark a whole run here. Yeah, that's exactly what happened against Bristol Flyers in a really crucial... Tomorrow night is uh, Thursday Night Hoops for you. Newcastle taking on the Bristol Flyers. There's a whole host of action coming up 
and down the country this weekend in the British Basketball League. Big doubleheader on Friday. Sheffield open up against the Caledonia Gladiators live on Sky Sports. Don't miss that one. There's also another game going on on Saturday night as well. And don't forget, it all comes down to the, play, uh, the British Basketball League playoff final, May 19th at the O2. Tickets are on sale now via the British Basketball League website. Oh, nice pass inside to David Ulf. Oh, it's blocked by Wiley. Here comes Copeland the other way. Atwood pulls up for three. Can't get it to go, but a, oh, it's stolen back in the end by Stevens. Almost a second chance opportunity there. Right, hesitates, drives inside, kicks it out. Stevens again for three, knocks it down. And the Cheshire Phoenix, the threes are flying in all over the place. And EJ Stevens playing with such confidence. He played well at, at the weekend and obviously hit that huge shot right at the end of the Caledonia game, which you talked about, and he must be just in such a flow. But again, it's the timing of the pass from Aaron Rye, who penetrates, draws all the defence, kicks it to Stevens, who's wide open. And it is a 31-point lead for the Cheshire Phoenix. Oh, nice pass inside. Ends up with Wiley, but Holden does well to knock it out of play. Yeah, that's good defence from Holden. They just don't want to get give Plymouth City Patriots any momentum. It's going to be Jules Dangakodo to inbound here to get us back underway from the sideline. Another three for Green, this time no good. Two players jostling for the rebound, and it's going to be a jump ball with the possession arrow pointing towards Cheshire. But with the position there in, Copeland has got to go in there. He's got the size. And the length, he's just got to go in there and rip the ball away, even if it ends up committing a foul. Here's Holden. Plymouth again, shifting back to that zone defence. Screen comes from David Ulf. Kristen puts it on the floor at the elbow, pulls up mid-range two, knocks it down. Cam Christian, really nice play there. Just got to a spot at the elbow. Pulled up, knocked it down. Atwood looking to go one-on-one, -on -one and it's stripped away by the league leader in steals, LaQuincy Rizzo. Here he is for three. Is short. Nice pass from Atwood, feeding Green in transition. Can't get the finish, though. And Cam Copeland ends up in the front row. Good intention, though, by Plymouth City Patriots. Pushing it ahead. Green couldn't quite make it. But in comes flying Cam Copeland. That's what he's got to try and do. If you end up in the, on the baseline seats, then so be it. He's just got to put everything in it now. Dan Kodo to inbound from the baseline. Here's Copeland. Screen from Wiley. Dan Kodo looking to drive left. No one to, no to pass it to. It ends up turning it over. Kristen to the basket, can't get the uh, shot to go, and he'll go to the line to shoot too. Again, Plymouth City Patriots not able to stop that transition. Here he comes, going into the heart of the defense, Terrell Green trying to get his hands up but commits the foul. And look at the Cheshire Phoenix players getting after the missed shot, even though the, the whistle are being blown. Well, there's still uh, a minute and a half to go in this uh, third quarter. Cheshire have outscored the Plymouth City Patriots 32 points to seven in this third quarter. Whatever James Bryce said to the team at halftime is certainly uh, paying off right now, Graham. Yeah, I think he's done a really good job today. He wouldn't have changed anything exactly. The instructions would have been the same as, as Ben Thomas would have given, but he knows the players, knows the situation, and everybody has stepped up at different points to, to make his job really as easy as possible. Well, if you have just joined us, of course, James Bryce uh, stepping in tonight in the absence of coach Ben Thomas. He's done an incredible job with his side leading by 35 points away from home. Terrell Green for three. Ball couldn't get the drop, and it will go back to the Cheshire Phoenix. Yes, yeah, unfortunate for Plymouth City Patriots there. Wiley not able to get the offensive rebounds. But uh, just the, the Terrell shot that was going earlier, just not able to find the bottom of the net this time. Here's Rideau. Looking to 
set up something here from the clipboard. Stevens now finds Holden. Backing down Dangakodo, the hook shot, can't get the drop. Good hustle from David Ulf to get a second chance opportunity. Three ball on the way. No good that time. Another opportunity for the Cheshire Phoenix as they will get a new 14. Rizzo lifts up his back foot and that will be a travelling violation. He will go back to Plymouth. Well, he doesn't agree, but it was a long first step uh, by Rido and uh, the um, referees thought he travelled, so it's Plymouth City Patriots ball. Jules Bangakodo going coast to coast, finds Wiley. He gets it off the glass, can't get the drop. Rebound for LaQuincy Rido. Rido going coast to coast. Again, LaQuincy Rido doing well to draw that contact, and that's what we saw time and time again in that fourth quarter in the win over Surrey at the weekend. Yeah, again, he just knows how to create contact, get the defense off balance and out of the play. He then absorbs the contact that's just happened and then just carries on to the hoop, uh, often for, a, for an open layup. And, and he's getting to the foul line so much. Uh, and, in, and as we spoke earlier, Charlie's improved that free throw shooting. Well, of course, last week, LaQuincy Rido surpassed over 200 assists in the British Basketball League this season. He leads the league in assists per game with six and a half. First in the league in steals with two, just over two and a half a game. He's really a player that can do it on both ends of the court for this Cheshire team. Yeah, and he, and he just put, plays it into his game. He will steal and he gets his head up early uh, and, and just gives the best possible outcomes for this ball club. Here's Cam Copeland, nice pass! And jammed in by Jacob Wiley. And that's what we want to see from Copeland and Wiley, above the ring for the slam. The Quincy Rido looking to respond at the other end, can't get the finger roll to go. And it will go back to the Plymouth City Patriots. And that, exactly, Copeland draws the defence, the killer bounce pass through the key, and that's where we want Wiley, just catch and finish high above the ring. Well, that will do it for the end of an incredible third quarter for the Cheshire Phoenix. We've got the final 10 minutes after the break. Welcome back to Wednesday Night Hoops, where the Plymouth City Patriots find themselves in a big hole against the Cheshire Phoenix. But elsewhere, down at the Copper Box, the London Lions women, they lead by eight points in their Euro Cup final second leg with uh, it's 10 points now, even my producer tells me in my ear, with uh, just under two minutes to go. 
So as it stands, they'll be lifting the Euro Cup tonight in London. As a big three from uh, Terrell Green to get this fourth quarter underway. Yeah, that's, uh, that's massive for Plymouth City Patriots. Now they've got to try and get a stop and claw their way back into this. Here's LaQuincy Rideau. Screen from Ulf. LaQuincy Rideau, nowhere to go. Finds Holden. Fires up for three. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Jules Dangakodo. Joe Hart drives middle. Nice pass into uh, Wiley, who uh, gets the hook shot to drop. Yeah, much nicer rhythm there for that offense. Couple of quick passes, attacking the seams. Wiley with the finish. Holden to the basket. Easy as you like, off the glass and in. Yeah, that's just too easy again. They've just got to score. You've got to then slow down Phoenix because they score quickly or attempt to score quickly after they've been scored on. Hart top to Green. Here's Copeland now. He'll fake the three, finds Green once again, driving inside. And it's going to be a foul called, which will send... Terrell Green to the line to shoot too. Yeah, they know how dangerous Green is, so Maceo Jack chases him off the three-point line. Green goes hard to the bucket and he draws the foul. Well, Terrell Green, 11 points tonight so far in uh, this game. He had 16 points and five rebounds in the previous meeting between these two teams. No good on the first free throw, though. He's a 67% free throw shooter in the British Basketball League this season. He knocks down the second. Here's Cam Holden. Oh, nice move. Hart almost gets his hand to it, ends up with Rido. Rideau, skip pass, corner three ball is short. And the rebound secured by Wiley. Two on one opportunity for the Patriots. Green thought about the three. Good transition defense by the Cheshire Phoenix. Green, back to Dangakodo. Wiley, fadeaway jumper from the corner. No good that time. Long rebound, forced to LaQuincy Rideau for his seventh rebound of the game. Cam Copeland commits the foul to uh, to stop the fast break. Yeah, it's good defense by Cheshire Phoenix, just taking away all the all the early options for Plymouth City Patriots. Here's Cam Holden backing down Joe Hart. Puts it up, puts it in, and count it. He'll go to the line for a bonus. Yeah, good job by Cam Holden. Recognizes he's got a mismatch. He's bigger, stronger. And Joe Hart and Joe tries to knock it away as Holden turns to make his move, but uh, commits the foul. Well, the Quincy Rido will take a seat. Greg Wilde will come into the game for uh, for Cheshire Phoenix, and uh, of course, you know, bringing in the youngsters in this game. Um, James Bryce Fields is pretty much done, and a chance for some of the younger players deeper into the rotation to get some minutes here. Yeah, and that's crucial. You've got to keep these young players involved. Uh, they may be coming through the youth system or playing in the in the national national basketball leagues uh, as well as the British basketball league you've got to keep them involved and keep developing them Wiley finds Hart Wiley from the top of the key knocks it down just plays better at that quicker pace where he just catches it in rhythm knocks the shot down with a little bit of fade just over seven minutes to go in this one here's Holden it back out. It's got Copeland on it. Holden looking to go one on one here. Drives into a double team, puts it up off the glass. Incredible shot. They've got some talent on this Cheshire Phoenix team. And Holden just, everyone get out of the way. I'm going to take care of business. Nice touch off the glass. Copeland almost loses control of it, but ends up back with him. Wiley from the elbow is short. Rebound chased down by Greg Wilde. Kristen for three. He knocks it down. 
And the threes keep coming for the Cheshire Phoenix as he blows kisses to the crowd at the pavilions. Greg Wild with that quick pass to the right-hand side and the shot by Christian. Nice job. Terrell Green looking to respond with a three and he knocks it down. Yeah, again, just steps into the three from either side, whether he's receiving the ball from the left or the right, doesn't matter. Nothing but net. 15 points now for Green. Here comes another triple for Cheshire. This time is no good. And uh, Copeland knocks it out of play for a Cheshire Phoenix ball. Yeah, on that rebound, just basics. Copeland didn't box David Olf out, and you know Olf is always going to be active getting after rebounds. Well, it's been a great night for James Bryce, who's had to fill in for Ben Thomas this evening. His side with a comfortable lead away from home at the Pavilions. Kristen will fire one up from downtown, and he strings it. Well, the confidence is just surging now with the Cheshire Phoenix, and a nice three-pointer there. Terrell Green looking to respond by floating it up off the glass and in on the second chance opportunity. They've got to keep playing, Plymouth City Patriots. They can't lay down. They've just got to play as tough as they can for the last five minutes or so of this game. Wild kicks it inside. ACO Jack for three. And good that time. Rebound for Dangakoda. Cam Copeland from downtown off the back iron, no good. Rebound for David Olf. And uh, Cheshire Phoenix can wind this one down here. Under five minutes to go in the fourth quarter with a comfortable lead at the Pavilions. Cam Holden. Drives right into a double team, kicks it out. Greg Wilds wide open for three, and the bench love it. <laughs> and that's what it's all about, making a long journey down to Plymouth, and he gets a wide open three in the corner and makes the most of it. Wiley inside to Copeland, he draws the foul, and that foul will be called on David Olf, which will send Copeland to the line to shoot two. Well, here you see that three-pointer from Greg Wild hasn't seen too many minutes this season. But a timeout's called on the floor. We'll be back with you in a couple of moments' time. Welcome back to the Pavilions, where it's a big lead for the Cheshire Phoenix with under five minutes to go in the fourth quarter. But elsewhere, at the Copper Box Arena in London, the London Lions women have just, uh, just won the Euro Cup title in dramatic fashion. An 11-point win on the night over Besiktas, and they win by four points on aggregate. Incredible, Graham. That is just sensational, and we're, we're seeing the pictures from the copper box, while obviously we're 
watching the game here, but this is amazing for British basketball to go all the way and take down all the big teams in Europe and get it done. Well, many congratulations to them. They will lift the Euro Cup title at the Copper Box tonight. As uh, Holden gets it to go to extend the Cheshire Phoenix lead. Here's Joe Hart. Screen comes from Wiley. It's going to be a foul called on Ethan Chagua. And Graham, of course, you know, under four minutes to go in this one, it's going to be a, a loss for Plymouth City Patriots, but important for them to pick themselves up. Of course, a big game for them coming up against London Lions uh, on Friday. It doesn't get any easier for them, but they are at home. Their last home game of the season. They've got to make the most of it and give this passionate crowd something to cheer about. And uh, again, young Greg Wilde coming in, making the most of his time. He's now up to five points for the Cheshire Phoenix. Of course, he signed his first pro contract with Leicester Riders after coming through their pathway at Loughborough University. Now with the Cheshire Phoenix, and as you say, making the most of his minutes here in Plymouth tonight. Jaguar fakes the three, drives inside, not loose by Green, back into the hands of Wilde. Shot clock down to six, nice pass from Wilde into David Olf, and uh, he gets it to go for two. Greg Wilde with the assist. Yeah, again, David Olf, Mr. Reliable, and Greg Wilde with the assist, expanding his game there. Well, the lead stretched out to 40 points now for the Cheshire Phoenix. Cam Copeland knocks down the mid-range two to stop the bleeding. Yeah, we know Copeland can do that. He just hasn't been able to do enough of it this evening, which is unfortunate. He was our focus player. We were expecting bigger things from Cam tonight. It just hasn't worked out. Well, it is going to be an offensive foul called against the Cheshire Phoenix. Well, subs coming in for the uh, Cheshire Phoenix as uh, David Rudd comes in, uh, sorry, Dan Rudd comes into the game, my mistake. And again, just emptying the bench here, giving the players those extra minutes. You see White onto the court now for, for Plymouth City Patriots as well. Yeah, again, these are, these are the moments. That, they're called garbage minutes, but I think that's, that's quite tough on the players that are going to be that are playing these minutes because it's so huge for them and what pride they're going to have in playing these minutes they're playing for their for their minutes for the next game and just giving the coach something to think about that if if players the main players get into foul trouble not a problem i've got players i can bring in off the bench All right, will white gets it inbound finds copeland he pulls up from the top of the key no good gets the second chance opportunity though nice pass inside and Wiley flushes it. Yeah, but you've got to think back to that first half where Plymouth City Patriots were really competing. Just, and now they're just, uh, they're a beaten force, but that was a nice pass inside from Copeland to Wiley. Three-pointer, nothing but net for Cam Holden. I mean, Cam has just been fabulous tonight, and that's just a big three from way downtown. White looking to go back door, puts it up and in. And first points of the game for him. Yeah, really love the fact that he, the player was dribbling towards him or looking in his direction, and he went straight to the bucket on the backdoor cut. Move without the basketball, good things will happen. Holden does well to draw the foul. And he'll go to the line with just over a minute and a half to go in this fourth quarter. It's a tough night for the coach Paul James you know, trying to get his 50th win as we talked earlier Joel and it looked on uh, in that first half when they were really going toe to toe with Cheshire Phoenix but in the end they've just proved too much Wild back top to Greg Wild shot clock down to three Wild has to go to work here floats it up can't get it to go rebound secured by Plymouth Copeland round the back Almost knocked loose by Olf. Pulls it back out. White open for three. Off the back iron, no good. Long rebound and chased down by Wild. Rudd for three. Can't get it to go. But 
But again, Rudd, young player off the bench, running to his spot really hard, and the pass came, and that's what Cheshire Phoenix are all about. They, they, they want to share the basketball. They want to get all their players involved. Into the final minute of this one, 112 to 75 is the score. Copeland pulls up for a deep two, knocks it down. Here's Holden. Shot clock down to 10. Finds Rudd. Jaguar. Nowhere to go. Finds David Ulf. Ulf driving inside off the glass, no good. Shot clock is turned off here. Green's going to fire up for three. He knocks it down with 8.6 left on the game clock. And uh, all Greg Wilde's got to do is bring it up over the half court here. And that will do it. Cheshire Phoenix return to winning ways. 112 to 80 over the Plymouth City Patriots. A huge win for James Bryce in the absence of Ben Thomas. Yeah, really good team effort. Uh, James Bryce just coming in and just continuing the, the good feel factor after the tough loss against Caledonia. They've come all the way down to Plymouth and put on a huge performance. Uh, huge performances from players up and down the team, but who have you got for your player of the game? Well, it's Aaron Rye, just uh, been superb. 24 minutes, 20 points, four rebounds, eight assists. He just epitomizes this team, making good decision after good decision. That is a tough pass along the baseline with his left hand, and then he just shows that he can just come in from one side. That was early on in the game comes from one side and finishes on the other. 24 and eight, no fouls, a good clean game, can pull up for three. He's just a complete nightmare for the opposition. And this that time he just runs into his spot in the corner as well. Love watching Aaron Rye. When he was at Hemelstorm last year, where he won everything MVP type performance and now elevating it into the British Basketball League. And this was a must-win game for Cheshire coming into it. You know, they wanted to, to keep hold of second place in the league table. What does this do for team confidence now going into that last push of the regular season? Well, it's saying to Caledonia Gladiators, over to you. Because, you know, Cheshire have taken care of business here. Now it's going to get really tricky for them. But, and this is without Skylar White as well, throw Skylar into the mix as well. As we've discussed, he causes all sorts of issues as well. But great job by the Phoenix. Here's a look at those final stats from the game and Cheshire Phoenix doing what they do best, shooting nearly 50% from downtown, Graham. Uh, it's just awesome, 36 attempts, that's, that's five over their average, 17 makes at 47%, it's just awesome. 34 rebounds, 24 assists, 26 assists from Plymouth City Patriots, a good job by them. Also, look at the free throws, 19 attempts to just 10 attempts by the Plymouth City Patriots. And 24 points from turnovers for Cheshire as well. I mean, they really capitalised off of those Plymouth City Patriots mistakes today. Yeah, and fast break, 31 points. Bench points, 40 as well. Um, it, they're just doing it all through the roster, and it's just a, a great job and a nod to the organisation that, that Ben Thomas can sit out tonight and things just keep moving forward. Well, let's get confirmation of that final result. There you see it, 112 to 80 at the top of your screen to start a huge slate of action in the penultimate weekend of the regular season. Don't forget, tomorrow night, 7.45 p.m., you can watch Newcastle taking on the Bristol Flyers. Then you've got two games on Friday, two games on Saturday, and how about two games on Sunday as well to round out your weekend. It's a jam-packed weekend of British Basketball League action. Here's a look at what tonight's result does to the league standings and Cheshire Phoenix back to one win ahead of the Caledonia Gladiators. They improved to 22 and 11. Meanwhile, the Plymouth City Patriots stay bottom, move to bottom of the standings, 7 and 26, their record on the season. Well, Graham, it was a big win for the Cheshire Phoenix away from home. Final thoughts from you. What did you make of that game that were there tonight? Yeah. 
all the Phoenix big players played well, but it's also Holden, Christian, Stevens, that everybody is just playing so well for the Phoenix. Plymouth City Patriots did really well for long stretches of, that, of the game, especially the first half. And then from the third quarter onwards, it was all Phoenix. Well, thank you very much for joining us on commentary position this evening. And thanks to you at home for tuning in to this one. For Graham Hiscock, I'm Joel Osborne saying so long, and we'll see you next time.